so uh, finally we are here to integrate Azure AD with our AKS cluster so before we perform some demonstration let's go ahead and try understand how exactly this happens and what things are required to accomplish this task right and how this integration changes things because we all know kubernetes doesn't provide an identity management solution okay we all know that it has its own rbec solution but that we can utilize in uh, along with the integration of azure ad to manage the access and make it more secure okay so you can create roles or cluster roles that allow access to kubernetes resources then bind those roles to users in azure ad okay uh, what i said uh, what i just said let's try to understand this statement let's suppose this is a user and this is our AKS cluster and this is our Azure AD right now when this user try to access the AKS cluster usually what we do we simply get the credentials and we get the information in our dot cube config file and we have the access of everything inside the AKS cluster as per previous videos we have already accomplished this is not good this is not a good practice when we work inside a team we only provide the access what is needed least privilege principle right as per the security perspective those things has already been discussed a couple of times so let's come to the point when user access the aks cluster it's uh, user simply runs the get credential command and it gets the information now what exactly happens when we integrate the azure ad that's the point so in that case uh, the very important thing i just wanted to mention here before i start because you cannot you cannot add the or integrate the azure ad with the existing aks cluster it can only be uh, deployed or integrated while we are deploying the AKS cluster. Or we can say uh, we deploy an Azure AD enabled cluster. Okay. And to achieve the task, we have to met pre prerequisite that comes later. So let's try understand this part first. So user get the information from here. Now, once the Azure AD is integrated, then what happens? it is integrated now if user try to access aks cluster or try to get the credentials for aks cluster it will prompt to log in there would be a prompt to log in just like any other azure ad integrated application and user will type in his id and password and azure ad will authenticate that particular user and send the token to the AKS cluster. Like what he is or who he is, Azure AD will confirm and send that information to AKS cluster stating, yes, he's telling the truth. He is the right person. He is the correct person. You can provide him the access. Now, when Azure AD says to the AKS cluster, you can provide him or her the access AKS cluster will check in his RBEC repository and see what all permissions this user has and will provide that permissions or access to this user so it would not be a single step like it used to once we integrate the Azure AD rather it will go to the Azure AD and verify its identity come to the AKS cluster after the authentication then authorization like what all he or she can do would be inside the ak cluster aks cluster uh, 
which is created by the cluster admin that I was uh, referring to when I said you can create roles or cluster roles that allow access to Kubernetes resources then bind those roles to users in Azure AD that part is done inside the AKS cluster okay now this is the basic idea that we are going to achieve with the help of our demonstration but before we go ahead and do that we need to understand this uh, Azure AD uh, authentication uh, that Azure AD authentication uh, uses open ID connect okay and for this particular task an open ID connect is an identity layer built on top of OAuth 2.0 protocol okay just an FYI why this is happening because open ID connect introduces the concept of an ID token which is a security token that allows the client to verify the identity of the user okay so after the authentication happens here it sends it provides the token to the user that verifies and gets the permission okay so it's open ID connect which is actually an identity layer built on the top of o auth 2.0 protocol okay now let's try to understand few things before we jump into the demonstration what are those first uh, let me make it like prerequisite what we need to achieve this task right what we need to accomplish this task which is very important so it is uh, we need to deploy uh, prerequisite for AKS and Azure AD okay which is actually something which will bind these two things together or expose the Azure AD API so that AKN can uh, AKS can go ahead and access the uh, authentication through those APIs that would be absolutely secure because that's how Azure AD works and we'll talk about it and then we'll deploy the Azure AD enabled cluster as I said in the beginning we cannot integrate the Azure AD with the existing AKS cluster but we only deploy as of now while I'm creating this video as of now it is like this okay then we have to create an RBAC role inside the AKS cluster on the basis of the Azure AD user for example this is an user and it's, it's uh, uh, his name is let's say Arun so this RBAC role or permissions attached to the Arun once this user Arun verifies himself from Azure AD he would be able to access whatever is defined here inside the AKS cluster okay if it if it is looking a little complicated don't worry while we will perform the demonstration everything will fall in place okay now so uh, it is like so whosoever is coming to authenticate or access his object ID should be in AKS object ID is like UPN the unique identification right with role binding that's what I said and uh, that would be verified by the Azure AD now what are those prerequisites we talked about right here these prerequisites are two Azure app which provide the Azure AD API access and ultimately authentication so what are these two apps these are server and client app and okay server and client app now how to uh, uh, define these things so the first application is a server component that provides user authentication the second application is client uh, component that is used when you are prompted by the CLI for authentication 
it is more like when you type here after the integration when these two apps are you know created and attached and exposes the api and added the permission grant the consent after doing after integrating or performing all the tasks when the user writes anything like cube ctl get notes okay there would be a prompt where user will put in his id and password by the cli for authentication that part is taken care of by the client component this client application uses the server application for the actual authentication of the credentials provided by the client okay so uh, that's all about it that's how we are going to integrate azure uh, ad with uh, aks cluster or first we are going to perform these prerequisite tasks and then we'll deploy the azure ad enabled cluster int Integration with AKS. So this is a very brief and a good information that anybody should have while performing the demonstration that we are going to perform. Uh, in next video, let's make another video for that in which we will perform only the demonstration. Well, let's suppose let's say this is the uh, theory part for the demonstration which is required to understand and it is it is very important before we perform the uh, demonstration otherwise we would not be able to grasp what exactly is happening in the demonstration so let's meet in another video well thank you for watching and you have a good day bye bye